Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Verse 12, it says, For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. Back to 11. The preacher is giving us wisdom here, and he uses five areas of results and he's teaching us something very powerful here what he's teaching us number one is that there are times in a man's life where even though you have all of these forces put together listen carefully there are moments where it looks like something can just happen to you and abort the potential of all of these things working and lasting in your life however I want us to begin very slowly please keep that scripture the first thing I want you to learn tonight is that the, the preacher before he now begins to talk about tra tragedy he opens us up to a very powerful principle he lists a, a list of five levels and five kinds of results various effects and he connects them with the causes that lead to them are we together that means he's saying under normal circumstances when you have a race what you need is speed under normal circumstances when you are in a time of war and battle what you need is strength are we together under normal circumstances when you are hungry what you need is wisdom under normal circumstances if you want to be rich what you need is understanding are we together now and then he says the most outspoken quality that attracts favor is skill very powerful information he is not teaching you to ignore this just because tragedy comes upon men. He is telling you that in addition to this reality, that means everything aforementioned is a fact and it still holds true under normal circumstances. He is just giving you an information that there is still a condition that can circumvent all these things and he opens you up to another kind of knowledge. But he's saying under normal circumstances, if you don't have speed you will fail in a race if you are not strong you will lose battles if you do not have wisdom you will lack bread are we together if you do not have understanding riches will be far from you and if you do not have skill favor will be far from you speed strength wisdom understanding skill I hope you know the person who is writing this. Solomon was not a weak man. This was a man who, who had tasted success at the highest level. And he's telling you that these five elements must be captured in your life as you sojourn. Speed, strength, wisdom, understanding, and skill. The race is not to the swift when higher conditions come but under normal circumstances the race is to the swift the battle is to the strong bread comes by wisdom wealth and riches come by understanding and favor indeed comes to men of skill now notice 
He's saying once you are under the sun, without the influence of the realm of the spirit, all of this hold true. But that there is a system above the sun. There is a realm that can still manipulate your life and bring you down even when you have this. Are we clear on that now? He is not saying ignore this just because time and chance happen to them all. The word time and chance there is within the context of tragedy. Hallelujah. Other versions will tell you that tragedy comes upon everyone the same way a fish can move around in freedom until a fisherman comes to catch the fish. Speed and the skill of the fish is how it survives in the river. Are you getting the point now? Just because a fisherman can come and catch the fish, just because someone can catch the bird in the air, does not mean flying or swimming properly should not be land. The fish lives in that reality and some of them have the privilege of living an excelling life as far as their habitat is concerned. Unless and until a fisherman comes. When a fisherman comes, the ability to swim and swim fast may not be necessary again because the net was so designed in a way that the greatest skill can still fall prey. Are we together? However, in the world of the fish, the fish that cannot move will not survive. So he says, I returned and I saw under the sun that even though under normal circumstances, the race should be to the swift. That means I have to settle the issues and the principles that work under normal circumstances. Then now outsource an advantage that can help me still stand under unusual circumstances. Because unusual circumstances do not happen every day. Are we together now? Yes. The race, he connects it to speed. Battle, he connects it to strength, physical strength, spiritual strength, emotional strength. Bread, bread there talks of supplies and sufficiency. He connects it to wisdom. This is powerful. Riches and wealth, he connects it to understanding and favor. He connects it to skill. That means under normal circumstances, when you have speed when you have strength when you have wisdom when you have understanding and you have skill except the realm of the spirit fights you nothing will defeat you on earth this is what he's teaching that a man these are forces that produce victory these are forces that produce excellence in life are we together Every believer who wants to enjoy advancement and progress and an excelling life must pay attention to these things. Number one, speed. That means life is a function of time. You have to master the art of gaining time. Gaining time. Gaining time. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. Then he says to redeem the time because the days are evil. Most people do not understand how to gain advantage and dominion over time. You can lose money and gain it back. You can lose relationships and gain it back. But the greatest desire as we learn from a dying man is time. A dying man does not need to open another account. A dying man does not need another estate. He just needs an extension of time. Hezekiah was a king in chapter 38. When it was clear by the word of the prophet that he was going to die, his request was time. Extend my time. Hallelujah. Are we together? Someone say speed. It is very important to learn and understand the principles that make for speed. Dominion over time is genuine dominion. No matter what you dominate over, if you lose control over time, because the unit of destiny is time. Number two, strength. The battle to the strong. You must learn the spiritual principles that give men capacity and stamina and strength. Please pay attention. Everybody says strength. 
One more time, say strength. Did your Bible not say if you turn aside in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. You have strength, but your strength is small. The battle, when you have battles before you, you need strength, emotional strength, spiritual strength. Are we together now? Jesus got to Gethsemane and at that point, it was not a miracle he needed. At that point, it was not the power to heal the sick that he needed. What he needed to carry him over to the cross was strength. Listen carefully. What made Jesus Christ fall and could not reach Golgotha that the, they had to bring an African, a black man, are we together now? Simon of Cyrene to take him. It was the absence of strength. It was not the absence of relationship with a father, the father. It was not the absence of a sincere heart. He needed to go and purchase redemption for us. But even as a human out of the assistance of the spirit, he lost strength. And a man had to assist him. Listen to me. Your journey in life will be a disaster until you master the spiritual dynamics that make for the arrival and the maintenance of strength. Did the Bible not say, has thou not known, has thou not seen the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, that he does not faint, neither is there weariness. Is that true? He says there is no searching of his understanding. And then he says, even the young men will fall and the youth will be weary. They will utterly fall. He says, but they that wait upon the Lord, what will they, what is the advantage? They shall renew that means you will fail in life if you do not understand and master the principles that make for strength. Hallelujah. You wouldn't believe that years ago, I used to do a little of, I, I, I was an athlete. I used to run a lot. Hallelujah. A lot. And that passion came from a punishment. Hallelujah. We were punished for coming late to the field and they asked us to go around two times or how many times seven times or so and that punishment some collapsed by the wayside they gathered all of us who came late and they asked us to keep running until we stop and we ran seven times across the field. Many other people fell down. It was only two of us that remained. Because of that, they now introduced marathon to the interhouse. Because they said, wow, so that means these people have this potential. Strength. Hallelujah. When you watch these great athletes, marathon people, Kenyans, and all these people, you see that they, they have mastered how to conserve energy. They can run for three hours and it looks like they will fall down until they get to the last round. Suddenly, an energy from nowhere. There are many people who will be jogging before the, they blow the whistle. They will not even go around twice. Are we together? Strength. Do you know how to sustain strength? Do you know how to sustain emotional strength? Do you know how to sustain physical strength? This is not where we are going to. I'm only introducing my teaching. Let's go to the next part. Back to the scripture, please. It says, neither bread to the wise. Hello? That means every time your house and your household is bankrupt of bread, supplies, sufficiency, what you need is to access wisdom. There is a relationship between bread and wisdom. When you lack wisdom, you will lack bread. Number four, riches. Riches to men of understanding. Riches. Just because you have bread does not mean you have riches. Are we together now? Yes. You can get bread through the wisdom of relationships. But it doesn't mean you are rich necessarily. It takes understanding. It says, in all thy getting, get understanding. And then he says, favor to men of skill. I've taught you on the laws of favor. And one of them is value and competence. That when you are valuable, you can schedule seasons of favor 
that will reproduce themselves in your life again and again. Let me recap on this one last time. Speed, strength, wisdom, understanding, and skill. Show me a man who has all of this. I give you a guarantee under normal circumstances. I have shown you a man who is victorious. Do you believe this? From the secular system, every single one you see excelling with greatness and glory as far as we see from an next standpoint. These were some of the ingredients that they combined. Hallelujah. They found the keys that make for speed. They found the keys that make for strength. They found the keys that bring and sustain wisdom. They found the keys that make for an understanding heart. And indeed, they built themselves to be skillful. Our first prayer point tonight is that God himself and by his spirit will cause you that all of the the knowledge, the level of light that will command these resources to your life. I want you to pray while you are seated. Lord, everything that makes for my accessing speed, the level of spiritual illumination that will bring speed to my life, strength to my life, wisdom to my life, understanding to my life, and then finally, skill to my life. I obtain grace. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. I obtain grace. I want to be able to gain advantage over time. I want to have the emotional, the spiritual and the physical strength to be able to stand through the vicissitudes of life. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. I obtain grace that which will give me wisdom and bring bread for me and for my household sufficiency all wise I obtain grace and then understanding that will bring riches indeed durable riches that comes with righteousness and finally everything that will make me skillful enough to command favor to my destiny I obtain grace Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.